Core compounding. What is it? Well, let's look at my positions. Oh, both of them are in profit. So my hedge is working and my AMZ is working. So let's look at my position in AMZ. Now, don't forget, this is not accurate because I take money. That's not accurate. It's not a total return of $8,700. But today's return is $1,600. My return is much more than that because I took out about $30,000 more than that. Okay, this month alone. So let's go over here and core compound since we're in profit, right? You see that $1,812? I'm going to sell into this morning's pump. So let's go here. AMZ, trade, sell. How much? 1812. Okay. Uh, number of shares. Whoa, that's not right. I want the dollar amount. Hold on. So I'm going to go ahead and sell 78 shares into this morning's pump. Boom. I don't care what price they sold at. Okay. Here's what we want to look at today. Okay. I just, if the market goes down, I don't care. I just moved that money, today's gain, from their pocket to my pocket. Call it enhanced buying power. Call it whatever you want. I call it genius. It's better than dollar cost averaging. Okay, now some people like to go ahead and set their set an alert for a 5 or 10% move in their portfolio. Okay. Usually, I like to take a bigger amount than this. If you do too small, you're going to create a tax nightmare. I want to show you this example in real time. Now, that money is put aside. Usually, we watch our portfolio go up and down and do nothing about it. I take a proactive stance. This is what I do. So, let me see. For the week three months, <laughs> year to date, I have picked an absolute winner. You know, this month I expect to get about $18,000 in dividends from this. I'd much rather have this than Amazon stock. And by doing this genius move of core number compounding, I am able to rip. Well, this is not really core number compounding. This is just my average rip. Okay. See, if I'm up overall, okay, and... I have a day where I watched my portfolio up $5,000. I may decide to rip that $5,000 off the top and put it aside. Because the next day, how many times have we all looked at our account? How many times have we looked our, at our account and watched our account balance fluctuate? Sorry if there was some noise in the background. I have noise-canceling headphones and I didn't realize that my super air purification system was on. Anyway, so... I'm following my plan. I have a specific strategy. There is a, I have an exit plan. I need to run this to pay off the initial HELOC loan. That's right. F. Dave Ramsey. Okay. Rich dad, poor dad, Robert Kiyosaki. You could all blow me. All right. Actually, you're men. I prefer you don't, but it's a figure of speech. Anyway, I don't care about all your rules and all your garbage. Throw it out the window. You're here to sell books and courses. You think we're stupid? Look, no money down. I risked it all. Oh, yeah. Oh, I risked my house. Oh, so terrified. Yeah. I, no, I really didn't. I could pay this off in a day if I wanted to. But I have $300,000 working for me, free money. I don't care about the ma a management fee yield max. you got to be a schmuck stepping over $100 bills to pick up pennies to worry about that. I don't analyze, like, retire on dividends, what the fund manager did today. Did he pee in the left bathroom or the right bathroom? Okay, let me look at my spreadsheets. Let me tell you, if you have a spreadsheet and you spend hours a day or a week, I'll, give you, I'll go light on you, okay, looking at different ways to combine different ETFs to create the perfect portfolio, you have a hobby. I want money. Subscribe. Make sure you're getting notified because nobody wants you to be rich. Not your friends. Not your family. They may say nice things to you and wish you the best, but everybody likes you the way you are. Broke and just broke because it makes them feel good. Nobody wants you to do better than them. The hell you think social media is all about? This is real talk. That's why you subscribe. And my videos are designed so you can listen. I am an advocate for YouTube Premium. I have no link for it. There's no affiliate links on this channel.
I have a private elite Discord. It's crypto based. That's why I laughed at you with your Misty and Coney. I am a crypto trader. I am a degenerate for risk. All right, so I got 18,055 shares. It's going to kick out about $18,000 a month. All of my costs, everything, all in. It's $2,200 a month. Is that a good business? Hell yeah. Even if the dividend got cut in half when I started, the dividend was 69 cents. I was happy with that. I didn't expect it to go to 97 cents. Now, the genius of this, you ready? It's going to pay for itself because I put no money out of pocket. It's going to pay for itself, and my goal is eight months, two quarters. You think Amazon's going to go to zero in two quarters? Listen, go, go pray to Elon if that's your issue. That's another thing. Please, people, do not ever fall in love with a money-making opportunity. Many people have gotten literally destroyed in Tesla and Tesla because they were in love with the community or the product, or dare I say, Elon worship. Yes, I don't have a problem with Tesla, but I'm not in love. I don't have a problem with Amazon, but I'm not in love. Here's the best tip you could ever get. Own your cars, lease your relationships. Anyway, so this is going to kick out money. Now look, I started this around March 1st. I've withdrawn through this core compounding and my first two dividends, blah, blah, blah. I've taken out a ton of money already. They say it only gives you your own money back. There's nav erosion. I see it keep going up every day. I don't know. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe I'm an idiot. I just look at money and buy Lamborghinis and things that matter to me and my family. Okay? I don't have a wife upstairs yelling at me, screaming at my kids like retired on dividends, breaking things, and I'm confined to the basement or the garage telling you about the hair that grew on a pimple on the ass of a fund manager at Yieldmax. Anyway. I'm not the young investor, entrepreneurial investor with all the links and talks to you like I have no testosterone and I am monotone and I am just really depressed. But I have a spreadsheet and I'm going to tell you the best uh, yield max ETFs to avoid and to avoid and uh, shut up. Anyway, all right, so I've withdrawn. I have sitting in a separate checking account. I'm running this like a company, like a business. Um, twenty nine thousand dollars. I made the first payment. I only paid five thousand towards principal. Okay, and the payment was only eleven hundred, whatever it was. Okay, I took twenty thousand cord off the top for my anti Tesla investment. Okay, which I'm not going to hold long because it it uses up too much margins. One hundred percent. I'm not going to go into it. So in essence. Uh, between core number compounding and two months of dividends, I've ripped $55,000 off the top and managed to increase my amount of, oh, uh, did I say dividends? Someone's going to mock me. They feel like dividends. They smell like dividends, but they're actually premiums. Why don't I do, again, I'm going to address this for everyone. Why don't you just buy covered calls yourself, Oracle, do it yourself. Listen, why don't I wash my own car? I can clean my house. Why do I have a cleaning lady? Think about it. Do you ever go to the car wash? Why? How dare you? Wash your car yourself, damn it. I'll pay professional. It's like saying, my tooth hurts. I'm going to get a wrench and pull it out. We pay professionals to do professional things for us to make our lives better and more efficient. I think I can make more money than the fund manager can for those hours, okay? I can make more money that I would have to dedicate to a spreadsheet. I'd rather go ahead and put that on someone else. But hey, hey, hey. So I'm expecting an $18,000 dividend. I don't get it, care if it gets cut in half. I need to pay, in addition to the principal, $19,000 a month to pay this off roughly in two quarters. That's the goal. Happy Christmas. That's what we're looking at, December or January. Let's get back to some other things. Let me finger Robin Hood. Did you like that? Now, all right, so we're up a little more. I could have waited to skim. Will I skim again? No. That, that was just to show you. Okay, now let's take a look. My, it, so I moved that $1,800, which could go away later. That's why I don't like to own stocks. Stocks are stupid. Why? Well, you might say, well, buy NVIDIA and this and that. 
And let's use Amazon as an example. Okay? So if I hold Amazon stock, I get nothing. I get dashboard money. Some days, look, it'll be up like that. $2,100 maybe, maybe $2,000, whatever. I don't know. And I get nothing. I get to watch the dashboard money move up and down, and I have hope. Hope. Let me ask you, I don't know, maybe you're a vampire. Maybe you plan to live forever. Maybe you know what's going to happen tomorrow, that you could put off your money for another day. I want my money today, okay? So instead of buying Amazon stock and paying way more money for it, I buy AMSI. It's about $23 and pays almost a dollar a share. How many more shares of AMSI can you buy than Amazon? I'm not giving you financial advice. I don't even have an affiliate link. I don't even get ad money from YouTube. So there's no purpose here. Now, I don't think you should follow me. I have the risk appetite of a gambler, the fortitude of, of a soldier, and most of all, the vision of a visionary to pick the right ones. This is why I am not diversified. I found a hole in the market, a singular opportunity, a moment in time to go all in on this based on my own reasonings, okay, and extract maximum value and make this a free run. Did you see that number change? That might go negative, but you know what? I took the money already. That's the magic of core compounding. Let me take you to the basics of core compounding. I've done this. If you go back on my channel, click videos. Click oldest, scroll back. You'll see screenshots that look like this one of Apple. When Apple three years ago was making a massive run, I held just Apple. There wasn't even Apple back then. And I won't go into yield max Apple because it pays too little dividends and the stock is too volatile. I don't like the underlier at this moment. But in the past, you will see I core compounded Apple, just raw shares. I looked at the dollar amount. Let's say it was 10,000. And one day you're up. You have your account balance is 10,890. Maybe you want to take that 890 off the top. Or maybe your account balance is 12,000. It's a blow up green day. Take the two grand off the top. Put it aside. When do you buy back in? I don't buy, I try to limit these transactions. Do you understand? Make them big enough. Set an alert on your phone, 10% either way. That's when you make a move, all right? I did it now just to show you. So on a giant red day when all the markets are down, I'll accumulate money before my dividend day. I'm really about getting the dividends. I'll accumulate because this is a different twist on an old game. Three years ago, I taught the world how to core compound. I'll show you. I will take you there. All right, so now let's look at my portfolio. What do I have? I have Tesla as a hedge, but not like you think. Okay, let's switch this over to um, what I have here. This is a negative Tesla. Okay, I have it because I bought it with free money. Remember that Tesla investment you see in here? dippity dippity do there it is i got it for free by core compounding just like i just got eighteen hundred dollars for free if you own the stock you never get the dashboard money until the day you sell the stock i want to be paid now i don't want to care about 10 years from now i don't know where you're gonna be we don't even know if youtube's gonna be here At the end of this month i get 18 grand you know what that turns the amazon appreciation into money in my pocket there's nobody that can deny this i almost stuttered nobody can deny this i don't care i don't care if you're robert kiyosaki i don't care if you're what's his name the bald schmuck dave ramsey okay i don't care if you're fucking warren buffett okay i don't even care what he says anymore He's too old to even turn on a computer. Welcome to the new era. I know this well, and I spotted this opportunity in time, and I am hawking it, vulturing it. Why? This reminds me of something I made a lot of money in in the past. I was an options trader before crypto. Okay, I am a crypto trading degenerate like you've never seen. I can show you numbers that are more than you make in a year in one trade. I'm not bragging. I'm not a dick. 
but it's real. Many of you don't know me on this channel. So this risk to me is nothing. It is proof of concept that I can take free money and have itself pay for itself and create an income producing machine better than being a doctor. Okay. And I do no work. Okay. Period. What happens down the road after it's paid off is what happens down the road. I don't care if Amazon gets three years from now chopped up into broken down into all by the FTC. I don't care. I, want, I will be getting money now. I will have this paid off shortly. And to me, yes, it's a better investment than real estate. I'm going on a live stream this Friday night by these guys, Cash Flow Kings. Okay. So I'm going to see what they're about. Teach them that Warren Buffett is bullshit. That's the new saying. Hashtag Warren Buffett bullshit. WBB. All hell. The new leader. These funds, let me tell you. Here's how it's going to go down. Okay? Just like it did in 2017 crypto. When we had passive income platforms. Things like BitConnect. Did you ever hear of that? At first, they were great. Then competition started. Then they started to fail. It was a cycle. Lasted a few years. What do I see here? I see an ingenious way to market covered call selling to the public in a basket of ETFs with the the title yield max is perfect. Maximum yield given to people. We've already seen one company dominate yield max and now there are others. There's Defiance. There are many. Okay, it's Round Hill. They've gone... Back in the day, in your father's day of dividends, they used to pay quarterly. It's like spitting on you every four months, three months, whatever. Okay. Then these guys started every month. Imagine compounding those monthly dividends. I don't compound. That's for retards. And somebody said in my comments, I'm dollar cost averaging. I am not. That's for poor people that don't have enough money to invest. All right. Schmucks. I chunk invest. And this is not dollar cost averaging. This is ripping off the top. Okay? We, it's a Wall Street term. Okay? We rip the pumps. And we wait till a bludgeon day. And we take that same free money and we buy back in. Okay? I'm not going to be holding crash for long. But you know what? What if it winds up? I don't care. It was free money. And it's going to pay dividends every month. I don't care if it goes to zero. What if it turns out that most of you won't be able to relate. What if it turns out that Tesla is the next Enron? What if something's wrong? We know that the numbers in the last conference call were, well, not the conference call, because that was the greatest show ever shown on the planet Earth. Okay. Elon, hats off to the great call that rose the price and gave people hope. And suddenly we've gone, for, I know I'm stupid, excuse me, from a car company to an AI robot company. Everything in Wall Street's a story. The best storyteller wins. But eventually their luck runs out. We're still waiting on full service. Full service, yeah, a car that blows you. Full, full driving, whatever the fuck it is, FSD, okay? <laughs> the fucking suck dick feature. <laughs> Woo! Oracle's on fire today. I love all your comments. Okay, my plan is working perfectly. I have $418,000 worth of AMZ. I'm basically free money. It's going to pay me about $18,000 a month. I love it. Even if the dividend gets cut in half, I don't care. Toodles. All right? Oh, that's all I care about. Uh, let me try to refresh this. Okay, so I, I ripped the number from there, dashboard money, to real money. We all got how that works. Core compounding and more. If you like this comment, speak up in the comments. Subscribe. I'm not going to be douche on dividends. I mean, retired on dividends and beg. Come on, people. Please, click the like so I can leave my wife. If you click enough likes and you watch all my bullshit videos, this is now retired on dividends talking. Look, here's the plan, everyone. If I can make a living as a YouTuber, I'll talk to you all day. I'll talk to you from my car and everything is I'm going to work. Everything. If I make enough money, look, come here. I'm going to leave that fucking witch. I don't know. Just going to leave. I'm going to get out of here. What witch am I talking about? Who knows? Fantasy witch in his head. Anyway, I think I covered a lot of ground here. Set people straight.
Okay, we want that. Uh, this is my private Discord group. Let's go to my secret room. Hold on. Whew. The Oracle Command Center. We're listening to some tunes. This chick, three years ago, here's all my, these are my personal notes. Yeah. I'm going to need 19 grand a month in addition to the principal. This already says I'm going to be making 18. And that's not including the core compounding. Remember the money I ripped off the top? Oh, that's gold. Let's hear it. Let's take a moment and go back in time. This woman, used, you can use core number compounding on anything that moves. You make your own rules. Go back to my old videos. I said, click videos, click oldest. The first video on this channel was core compounding. Let's hear this chick, what she's doing. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Core number compounding is like the most simple form of trading. And it's a strategy that I came across via Big K Crypto and the Oracle. And it is a strategy that literally... I taught Big K Crypto. He has a lot of videos on this. Everybody will give me credit for this. You can do a crypto, whatever. Let's hear what this young lady's doing. This was two years ago. It really changed my life in terms of the way in which I can make an income day to day. So I just want to start off by saying that I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. No so make shit, sure baby. You do your own research before investing in anything. With core number compounding, you choose a core number, a number that you focus on. So mine, for example, with Shiba Inu is five grand. Every time the amount rises above five grand, I take that profit. So I wait for maybe like a 1% rise, take the profit and that goes straight back into my... That's too little. You need to do like five or 10%. I did it today just to show you. You don't want to create a job. You don't want to be studying this. You want to set an alert. It goes off. You're like, oh, let me take the money. Okay, and then it goes off the other way. You're like, oh, let me take that free money I took and get some more. <laughs> it's genius. Australian dollar wallet. Then when the market falls, say 2%, 3%, 4% or beyond, I use some of that money that I've made previously to buy back in. And what this essentially means is that you're buying low and selling high, buying low and selling high. And by having that core number, you know when is high and when is low. And the other thing that I love about this... See this? You don't need charting. You don't need anything. You look at the app on your phone. When the number is up and there's money to take, you take it. And when it's down, you buy back. And sometimes, guess what? You're going to accumulate so much money on the side. Okay, you could do it with crypto. I like when I do crypto, I do Bitcoin and Ethereum together. Because they're both volatile enough, right? But you could actually create income off this. And some months, you could do it with a stock. A highly volatile stock that mostly goes up. Okay, a good one like Amazon. Rip off the top. Sometimes you could even keep that money. Pay your mortgage. Essentially, then, you're just riding the waves of the market. Rather than those times when you invest, say, and it might drop, and then you have to wait for it to rise again, you're instead moving with the fluctuations of the market, and therefore being able to take money regularly as an income. So for example, right now, my Shiba Inu wallet is at 4862. So what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll hit buy, and I'll buy $140 worth of Shiba Inu, which gives me 3.3931 million SHIB. Sounded like she got shit. Listen, but she did. She bought a shit token. Congratulations. Everyone, this is very important. My channel is dramatically different than anyone else's in this arena of ETFs and high income dividend producing, making money. Okay? They read to you spread shit. I mean, sheets and nonsense. Prospectus and tell you stories. I give you strategies. Did you subscribe? If you did, say I subscribe in the comments because this is I'm the real. And what you'll see is that I also get a free coin every time. Ah, uh, that code. don't matter. Ten dollars, I get. A hey, she was on FTX. <laughs> free coin, but it works. Earned. And it says that I've earned five million ship. FTX block folio also uh, gives forget you that. an AP. Shut up. We don't care about FTX. We want to go down here, and so now I can delete her. From my private notes and clean up a little bit. Hold on, delete. Okay, bye bye, llama. All right, here, yeah. one minute in. This is Big K. This is how many years ago? Hey guys, what's going Do on? It's Big K Crypto here. 
three years ago. Let's go one minute in. So you can't say, you know, anything is risk free and we need to be responsible enough to make our own decisions based off of that. So with that out of the way, guys, core number compounding. So core number compounding is a strategy that has been developed by the Oracle, okay? None other than the Oracle himself. And it is an unbelievable strategy, okay? An unbelievable strategy. A strategy that's not gonna require you to sit there looking at charts all day if that's not what you want to do. Me, myself, I like to do a mixture of everything. I like to do a mixture of leverage trading, which is, you know, what the- It's a money maker. Yeah, he's gonna tell you, I was leverage trading back then too. This is what I do. Taught me to do. Um, as well as all of my other passive income stuff. And of course- I've taught everyone how to get rich. All board, the Oracle Express. Let's check where we are before I let you go. 1800, nothing's moved, but you know what's moved? That 1800 moved from dashboard money to my pocket. Boom, baby. The one, the only, the legendary. They say, they say, they should stop saying and start doing.